What's up, guys? It's your boy D. Smith. I was hesitant on trying to sh uh, talk about this story, but fuck it. I'm gonna talk about it. Watch this video right here. Everybody in the whole world know what's going on with the George Floyd trial. Right? Everybody know that officer was sitting on his fucking neck. But when a paramedics arrived, the officer was still sitting on his fucking neck. Check this out, man. I arrived on scene. Um, assessed all corners around us. Um, just kind of just gauge what was going on. Um, I walked up to the individual. Um, noticed he wasn't moving. I didn't see any chest rise or fall on this individual. Um, he was in handcuffs at the time. I went up and sorry. And when you approached, he said he was in handcuffs. As you approached him to inspect further, were the officers still on top of him? The officers were still on him when I approached. And what did you do when you approached? I was assessing the scene and running through what um, care may be needed. Do you see yourself in this picture? Let me check for that. It's closest to the heart. I check for a pulse. And um, did you also check the individual, Mr. Floyd's pupils? I did. And what did you determine at that point? They were large, dilated. So you determined that his pupils were large and dilated. What about a pulse? I did not palpate a pulse. And when you say palpate, is that you didn't feel or detect yeah, a pulse? I did not detect a pulse. And what did his condition appear to be to you overall? In lay terms, I thought he was dead. I am checking for a crowded pulse. And was this um, subsequent to after your initial check on the street? I was reconfirming my initial assessment. And, and again, yes, he still did not have a pulse. Okay. And then let's move to exhibit 58, please. <clears throat> What are you doing in Exhibit 58? Uh, checking for a pulse, repositioning. When you say repositioning, just tell the jury why you might reposition somebody. I was just hoping to find a pulse and uh, reposition for an airway. Um, just reconfirming that I needed to start working on cardiac arrest. We would pause Lucas, do a pulse check. It looked like a rhythm change of the pulse's feet tack. I elected to defibrillate that. And was there any effect? It just delivered a shock and he remained in his quote unquote dead state. And we continued on with the cardiac arrest. And so, just to be clear, I mean, when someone is in the state that you're describing, are you looking for any opportunity to you know, administer a shock or provide additional treatment that you might be able to? Yes, he's a human being. Trying to give him a second chance at life. Saying he approached the scene, assessed George Floyd, and he was dead. Now that's what this paramedic said. So let's look at the let's look at the video. So this is the image what the officer was talking about. This when he checked for a pulse. And you can clearly see see from this image he's dead. So let me play this video. Let's get him on. 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 Let
walk through that clip. Um, the beginning of that clip, there was an individual uh, with a hat bending down over the head of Mr. Floyd. Was that you or your partner? That would have been my partner. And, and what's your partner's name? Derek. And what's his last name? Smith. And when you initially, um, at the beginning of that clip, when Mr. Smith was bending down over the over Mr. Floyd. Was that the point in time when he was checking for a pulse and, and pupils that you described? Yes. Um, and you may have been out of the frame for that, but were you, what were you doing while that was going on? I was at the back of the ambulance. Uh, yeah, I was, I was standing at the back of the ambulance. And while your partner was checking for a pulse and checking pupils, oh, were the officers still on top of um, George Floyd while that process was going on. Yeah. Oh, that uh, real sick images. Real sick images, but it's something we have to uh, talk about and get justice for this for this individual right here for George Floyd. So they had to do this a block away, man, to get away from them punk ass officers. They had to do this in the ambulance when it was way too late. Think about that. Yeah, so hopefully George Floyd will get his justice. In today's age, man, who who the fuck knows? It's your boy D. Smith. I'm out of here.